So the other day I was being a big nerd and I was just traversing the Squarespace forums and I come across somebody who was asking a question about a list section. List sections are brilliant, one of the best updates that Squarespace has made in years. But when you try and target it with code, they can be a little bit fiddly. So this person was basically asking, when I hover over a list section item, so let's say a list section is a carousel and it's got four items across. I just want to hover over one particular item. And when I do that, I want the image to zoom in. I don't want the item itself to zoom in or get bigger. And I don't want any of the other items to get bigger either. I want it to be specific to that item's image. And no one had answered it. It was, it was a really weird one. It was kind of just sitting there, no replies, not many views. And I thought, okay, I've got to go in. I've got to figure this out, even just for myself. I want to know how to do this. So I come up with the code, it looked fantastic, and I thought, well, why don't I just share it to everyone else? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you over to the screen and I'm gonna show you how to apply the same hover effect to your carousel list item. So we wanna add our zoom effect to a list section. First of all, we've gotta start with building the list section. So if we go into edit on our site, we go to add section, and what we wanna do is add a list section. So you can find these in anything that would include a list, so I tend to go with people and then that will bring up a list. So if you look at all of these, these are all list sections. Anything with this I here is a list section. We'll go with this one for now. You can change all the content, obviously. Uh, let me move me. So you can tell it's a list section because it comes up with edit content here. In a normal section, it just has this. So let's go down. We want to go to edit content design and we want to make this into a carousel so this code is specific to carousel sections you can play around with the image crops if you wish all of that is superfluous that's how you want to style the thing but what we're concerned about is the css so if we go to design and then custom css and i'm going to paste our code and you'll see it in action so if i paste and then you can see we've got our zoom effect now let me move me a little bit and I'll show you what everything means. So, user items list container. That is this. Then we're going inside of that one more by saying user items list carousel slide. Now this is the slide. Then li is targeting the list section and then hover. And then image targets specifically the image. So if I take image out of this, you can see it goes all skew with because Basically, that's targeting just the list item. So whenever we hover over the entire list item, it goes all strange. We don't want that. We want it to target the image. So IMG image, that's how we target that in CSS. So let's just scale it back a little bit. You can see this is probably, it's less pronounced. It, it's quite nice. Maybe just scale it back a little bit more. So you can see we've got this nice effect. And then the transition is basically how long you want this to take. So if we were to just change that to two seconds instead of 0 0.2, you can see it takes its time going in and we can make it even longer, make it 22 seconds, <laughs> have it really stupidly gradual. But I usually make my transitions between 0.2 and 0.3. So like this, I, I quite like it like this. What we can do as well is add the transition to come out as well as in. So we would copy this go above and get rid of hover and you can see we've still got the scale so we need to take the scale out and just have the transition so you'll see when we hover it has the same speed in as it does out so without this if we get rid of this it snaps back really quick it that's zero seconds that's the default but you can see if we were to take that out so the zoom is 0 0.3 and then the zoom back out would be three seconds so you can customize this if you want them to be different lengths, you can do that. I tend to make them the same, but it's completely up to you. You're the designer. I'm not going to tell you what to do, apart from the code. So this is what our entire code will look like. I'm going to leave this code in the description. So if you want it, which I assume you do, head down there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description.